Hey you guys, welcome to Living It Country. Today we are going to be decorating this beautiful three tier tray for fall and of course farmhouse style. Now I don't like to do an overwhelming amount of fall decorating. I like to make it simplistic, have that farmhouse style and just touches of fall. So we are gonna be using some of my farmhouse decor and adding some simplistic pumpkins to it and just beautifying it that way. Um, and I also have the FM Farmhouse quarterly subscription box for fall right here. So we're gonna be unboxing this together and we're gonna be adding some of these pieces into the three tier tray, which is gonna be super fun. Now I actually just got this in the mail the other day from Amazon and it's actually my first three tier tray. I love it, it's this light wood with um, kind of a light whitewash to it with the beaded look. So I'm loving this and I'm gonna have this actually in my kitchen. So um, I'm so excited. We're gonna give you some tips on how to style three tier trays and two tier trays of course. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually undo my three tier tray right here and they make it super simple to undo. And this, when you get this in the mail it's actually a super small box, which is crazy. So we're gonna undo this, and I'm gonna take this bottom tray off, just like that. I got this wreath um, from Mama's Junk. I'll link them down below. And I'm actually just gonna put this wreath right on the bottom, just like this. It just so happened to be the perfect size. I'm gonna go like this. And hook it back together using my chin. So this is gonna add a really beautiful greenery look to start our two-tier tray, excuse me, our three-tier tray off with just a really, really natural look. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add um, some pumpkins to the base. And I'm gonna simply do this by just adding my dollar spot target pumpkins. And since this is a really, really small space, it's kinda just gonna be that filler space to um, to fill it up. So this is kind of complete down here. And it's just got a really simple look. So we're just gonna take this greenery from Target. One of them is from Joanna Gaines's line. The other is just the general Target brand. And we're just gonna get some pop of greenery in there. I'm gonna take this little guy and I'm gonna add it right here just to kind of give it a drapey look. And then I'm gonna hide that stem. Just kind of gives it a fun little look. I have this darling little photo of my kids at a old barn. And my daughter's crying on a John Deere tractor, so I just have it paired with my distressed little frame from Michael's. And I love it. It was like a $2 find and I love it. So I just added this little thankful scramble. It's one of those great filler pieces and I got it from last year's September box, the fall box of the FM Farmhouse. So I wanna share with you guys because I wanna start decorating with these pieces what is in the fall FM Farmhouse quarterly subscription box. So let's get digging in. So the first thing, this is actually one of my favorites. We have this book stack from Cotton Blossom 100. They're an Etsy shop and they have book stacks that they sell and so I have Just Eat the Pie. So I'm actually gonna just put this right on my two tier tray, three tier tray, excuse me. Put it right here. It's got this beautiful little tie on right here and just adds a fun look for fall obviously. The next thing in the box we have is this beautiful flare candles, pumpkin chai and pork candle. This smells so delightful, it smells so good. So we're gonna add this for now, right back here. We have a little set of matches in here which goes great with the candles. Now you never want to light any candles on a tray. That is a safety hazard, but it's just fun for cute looks. The next thing we got in the box is this three set canisters. We have a coffee one, a tea one, as well as a sugar one. We are gonna be adding these into, the, er, into our kitchen for fall and Christmas because they're perfect colors for that, but we're not gonna add them to the three tier tray. But I wanted to share this with you guys because 
I think it's so fun to share with you guys the whole box. The next thing we got is this fall slash Christmas scarf. And I do not wear scarves, but you guys can use this for so many different ways. You can use this in a three-tier tray, kind of as the base right here. You could use this as a table runner, like that was my husband's idea. You can use this under the Christmas tree or even wrap it around the Christmas tree, kind of as like a garland. So that would be a super fun idea. The next thing that we have, oh, here's one of my pumpkins that I left out. But we have this pumpkin tray for the kitchen. So, so fun. Um, so this is gonna go great in the kitchen or even in my dining room area. And then we have this gray pair. And one thing I forgot to add is this month or this quarter for the FM Farmhouse, every box is gonna be slightly different. So just cause I get a certain color or item doesn't mean you will too, which makes it super exciting. So I'm gonna add this right back here, kind of as a filler piece. Kind of give it a different texture to the box. Now, you do get in the box what's in the box, and this box is themed after Donna from Graham's Farmhouse, and so every quarter they pick a different Instagram influencer who is based off of um, the box, so it's inspired by Donna. In the box, they also gave us this wall plank sample box full of samples, and they also gave us a code. So if you use the code FMFarmhouse20, you actually save 20% off your order. So here's all the different options. And I actually have this one in my bedroom, my master bedroom, it's called the Picket Fence. And then I also have their classic shiplap in my laundry room. I love, love, love the Picket Fence. The, these styles right here I love because you can actually use a utility knife and basically do a whole wall without any huge tools, power tools or anything like that. And it can be actually a silent project. So super great for moms and dads who need to keep quiet and do projects um, while your kids are sleeping. So that's everything in the fall FM farmhouse box. I'm gonna continue decorating and add these items to here so we can get inspired for fall. So the next thing I'm gonna do, let's see what we're looking at right now. I'm going to add one of these pumpkins. I got this from Hobby Lobby and it's kind of just a light green and white kind of like a sage color. Sage is my favorite color. My house color is that. My kitchen cabinets are that. I've got a huge sign back there. Um, so we're gonna add these, and this is kind of like our pop of, um, pop of fall without going too much fall, right? I'm gonna add these little cans, and I think I'm gonna try to put them, let's see, I'm gonna put them right up here as kind of that filler item. Okay, so I'm liking how everything's looking up here. I also have these candles. This is by Milk Reclamation Barn. They sell them at Paula Dean's shop. They sell them at milkreclamationbarn.com. They sell them lots of places. And they actually sent me these candles a while back and I love styling with these. I don't use the candles. I actually have one that I have used. Um, but the milk jar ones I like to style with. So they smell wonderful. I would love to use them, but I want to style with them. So I might just add this. I love adding these. Actually, I might take, let's see. I'm going to The best part about two-tier trays is playing around with them. There we go, I'm happy with the top. The top is complete, you guys. Let's see how this is looking. I'm gonna add actually the pair back here. Okay, I'm liking how it's looking. I just got these actually in the mail a couple of minutes ago. These are from Target, they were $2.99, and they're just this beautiful yellowy orange fall stems. And I want you guys to tell me, be honest, that it's by the hearth in hand. I love the green look, but I wanna show you guys what it looks like with this and then without it. So here's what it looks like without it. Got some pumpkins left over that I thought I was gonna use, but 
I'm gonna add these and I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna ask you guys to tell me in the comments down below what you guys think with them and without. I think it gives it a fun add of fall color by just adding these. And then we're gonna add it right back here. And I just added this beautiful metal gather sign. I got this on another FM Farmhouse box for fall last year. So it needed a little bit of height, my hubby said, from behind the camera. And I think that this gives it a little bit more of a finished look. So let me know in the comments below if you guys are gonna be styling any of your fall decor on a two tier, three tier, one tier tray, whatever kind of tray. I would love to hear from you. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching Living It Country and a big thank you for FM Farmhouse for sending us their fall box. I absolutely love receiving those every quarter. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you guys later on Living It Country. Bye.